dynamic with you know Karina and Lisa is that I want them to work together. You know, so that's why I had Lisa handling the dog and her in the sleeve, and I was just kind of like, you know, Shao Kahn in the background, just like watching. Uh, you know, so because um, I want to be able to have like a bird's eye view on everything that's going on. You know, and Lisa is, you know, she's good with the dog. She doesn't enjoy the protection work as much as you know I do, or I, even I think Karina does. But you know, she's good with the dog. She understands what it is that she needs to do. She knows the dangers and do's and don'ts. So, um, you know, that's good. And then I can really watch and I can kind of adjust and fix more of the things that we need to do. car i mean i've always wanted to just like throw him in and take it for a ride but like you're just always like ah, ah. But there's like cloth like alcantara seats in the shelby so it just wasn't the right car for it i don't think the way the hair sticks in that car is like a lot different when i got the vet like driving around in it you know I, it's my com kind of my like daily driver um, the leather, everything is like leather and like, you know, wipeable in there for the most part. So it just seemed like that was the right car to do it in and it was small and you could take the top off. So it, I just felt like this is going to be perfect for, you know, filming 
this giant dog inside of this like you know crazy sports car that, you know so <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, the idea, I've always had the idea, but I mean, overall, I mean, all I really needed was just something to cover the seat, which I really didn't even need, honestly, like, he wouldn't have done anything if he got in, he just sat there, I mean, I could have wiped anything off that he would have did, um, but we put a little blanket down, got him in the car, yeah, that day, I just, you know, I just didn't, I wanted to drive, like, on the highway, and have somebody, like, drive and, like, pull up on him, that was the whole idea, so the first day that we did it, um, it just was like kind of overcast and it just wasn't really the best day to like take the top off and drive out and do it. So we didn't end up doing it. We just put, took the top off, put them in it, took some pictures, um, you know, and, you know, made the best of it, which was epic. pretty epic i mean we were driving and like people were almost crashing their cars you know on the highway when we were driving i was just driving around with them just sitting in the front seat so um this guy wasn't around that day so you know we didn't really film everything from the outside but it's all good we're gonna do that one again like in the city but it's not too often that you're gonna see a 180 pound dog <clears throat> in the front seat of a 700 horsepower yeah. zero six let me tell you the truth about the matter he paid for the car so really i mean if he wants to drive i'll let him Gotta teach him how to drive first. I'm bored. Let's go swimmers. Let's get out of That's not where the river is.
bless and fucking truly thank for you. <laughs> you can literally see nothing behind you. I know, she probably loud as fuck. It's just black out here, bro. We out here in the middle of sticks, bro. That's how we go to the gym out here. You know what I'm saying? You can glide in the red Batmobile and just slide on home. <laughs>